Hey there, what's up? It's Dan, back to talk to you about your strengths and how they make you awesome and unique. So you just finished your strengths assessment. Here are a few things you should know about your strengths. First, you can be strong in a lot of different ways. You can have personality strengths, like flexibility or resilience. These are the strengths around how you process the different things that are happening in your life. You can have brain strengths, like memory or analytical ability. You can have physical strengths, like if you're good at sports, you probably have athleticism or coordination as one of your top strengths. You can also have social strengths, meaning how you are at interacting with other people. An example of this in Thrively is leadership. Now, in Thrively, we show you your top five strengths. So if you're looking at your strength profile, the five strengths listed right here in the middle, those are the top five strengths. And these are just the five strengths that were stronger than all the others that we assessed for in the test. It doesn't mean that if it doesn't show up on this list that you're weak in other areas, it just means that these five scored higher and were the most obvious ones. You have lots of strengths. They go beyond the top five. If you mouse over any of these strengths, you can actually read what the strength is. You can even find activities that build on the strength and make you stronger. Now, there is a lot to figure out here in Thrively. Read through your profile, reflect on it, make sure you click the blue button and write a journal entry about it. We've given you these few tips just to get started, but we'd love to hear from you. Make sure you finish your journal entry and then click this right this button on the right, leave us a message, let us know if you have any other questions about your strengths and who you are. Hope this helped. Talk to you soon.